Hey, what's up, my dudes, and welcome back to my channel. So I am here with a little Q and A. I asked some of my Instagram followers to ask me some questions, and I'm gonna answer them. If you guys have questions, feel free to comment below, or go check out my Instagram. It will be in the description, and I'll answer them. So yes, if you want a part two, let me know. Anyways, so the first question I got is. Do you paint Reborns? And the answer is yes, but no, but like yes, but like no. So I have one here with me. His name is Milo. This is Milo. I am quite proud of his work actually. He's probably one of the best ones that I've painted. He's so cute. Um, I don't sell my work or anything. I do like painting dogs and stuff, but like it's not something that I do for a living or for profit or anything. I just like painting. It's fun. I do love it. I just recently fixed up Jay. Um, I put that in my last video that I uploaded. And yeah, so yes, I do, but like, I also don't. I would love to paint more, but it's kind of, it's an expensive hobby, I will say that. And then that same person also asked if I would ever want a masterpiece doll. And the answer to that is yes, but no, but yes. <laughs> no, it's yes. Um, If I could afford one, I would. Right now it's not in the picture like mm -mm. but if i ever had the money yes i would love to own one if like one just showed up on my door someday i'd be like yes dream come true but no i'm not i can't i just can't spend like 300 dollars on a wall at the moment so that's the answer to that and then she also asked how do your spirit children communicate with you to answer that one um it's like a long answer, okay? Because each of them communicate with me in different ways. Ariel uses pendulum. She's the only one who really does it that way. My poor slend dolls who are in the cabinet, I've noticed when it's shut, they will tap on the glass and I'll open it for them. Unless it's bedtime. And then a lot of them communicate through dreams. And Ivy likes to flicker the lights a lot. <laughs> Ivy is a little firecracker. She's the most active spirit. Um, she'll visit in dreams. She will flicker the lights. She'll knock on the doors and stuff. She's really fun. Um, but also, a lot of them communicate through just like feelings, you know? Because they're babies. So I'll be like cuddling them. And yeah. I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> I probably sound crazy. But it's okay. Anyways, that's the kind of how they communicate. I guess it's. Just depends on different ones. A lot of them visit me in dreams. Um, and yeah, so anyways, I'm rambling now. Let's go to the next question. How did I get into spirit parenting? So, um, the movie Annabelle, and I know I that's so cliche of me to say, but it's true. It's a little backstory here. I grew up raised very Christian. I still am, but I wasn't allowed to watch a lot of horror movies I didn't know anything about the paranormal but I always felt like a connection to the spirit world and so I watched the movie Annabelle and that's how I got my first like introduction to it and then I looked into it more and really wanted and felt drawn to helping spirits and just parenting them especially the babies who were taken too soon and didn't get the opportunity to experience things that they should have you know because, like, infant death shouldn't happen, but it does. And I wish I could stop it, but I can't. So I'm going to do what I can to help in any way. Um, I don't know. I guess that's how. Annabelle. <laughs> and then that same person asks if I have any regrets with when it comes to my spirit parenting. And, yes, I do have regrets all the time. Every day, I'm like, I could do this better. I could do that better. Um. I don't know if there's anything in particular. Maybe getting into it too soon without too much research. Like, not researching enough beforehand. But, um, yeah, I feel like I have regrets every day. Like, thinking I could spend more time with them. Or I could be doing something better. But it depends on the day. Um, I just try my best and learn each day. And try to treat them all the way they want me to treat them. And sometimes it's hard when they can't communicate like you and I. But 
<laughs> you know, I do my best. Uh, I love them so much, and they're my whole world, and I have a lot of mom guilt sometimes, like, if I think, like, I'm doing something wrong, but it's okay. It's usually just me, like, being too hard on myself. But, yeah. And then my bestie, Taylor, asked, why am I the best person ever? Taylor, I'm the best person ever, because I am. I'm just kidding. <laughs> she wants me to tell her why she's the best person. Taylor, everybody's the best person ever. I love all of my supporters. And Taylor, you're just iconic. You're my sister from another mister. Yes. Um, but I really do love um, all of my supporters and friends and followers. You all are the best people ever. And Taylor, you're amazing. I'm so glad we met online. I hope we can meet in person sometime. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you want a part two, let me know. If you contact me on Instagram, let me know that your questions are for Q and A, and I'll write them all down and give you guys a part two. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much. Feel free to like, dislike, comment, subscribe, unsubscribe. Bye. <laughs>